Hello. How's your feet? Tip top form? Or would you like a quick booster that you could do any time that you know you're going to go for a walk and you would like your feet to be really mobile, healthy and not achy? And uh, it's really simple if you can reach for your foot. And then if you can't reach for your foot, well, it's about time you've got some flexibility in your hips then, isn't it? So, <laughs> do some yoga or something. So you do need to be able to reach a foot to do this exercise, but do what you can. And you're going to take a foot and hold the heel in one hand, you can feel your heel, and the forefoot in the other. And you can hold the heel and just begin to twist the forefoot. Hopefully you can see that I'm twisting it back and forth. This will get into those joints of your foot that are kind of in the middle-ish and they need to be able to twist to navigate the ground beneath you. And hopefully you're not walking on flat pavements all the time, but getting a walk in nature so that the surface is uneven. And then you can do the opposite. Hold the forefoot and wag the heel back and forth a little bit. So we're getting some joints here called the subtala, and this one is more the transverse tarsal joint. Nice and oiled, lots of bones there that really want to get moving. And now we're going to put that together and twist both in a counterclockwise direction. So just figure it out. Don't worry, am I doing it right or not? Just figure out as if you were wringing out a dishcloth. So you're twisting the foot to the maximum potential that you can. And, and you know what? Breathe and enjoy it. Hmm. <laughs> Marvellous. Then we're going to come on to an area that's kind of important, the plantar fascia, and use some knuckles and rub on, in the plantar fascia. Very nice. It's stimulating all sorts of good stuff here, you know. Got meridians from pretty much air and everything, and everything runs under here. So you'll stimulate, I don't know, your kidneys or something else under here. So the plantar fascia is connected almost, you know, in a complete strip into your Achilles tendon. That's the tendon at the back here. So you don't have to do anything fancy, I'm just trying to show. You're going to pull in your fingers as if you're like rubbing clay or putty as you point and flex your foot. So just rub into your Achilles. You can feel your Achilles. It's that very, very strong tendon at the back and it's mostly made up of water. So can we warm the water and make it nice and fluid? So walking's really easy. And I'm doing this longer than you need to. So then we'll take that up into your leg bones. And you've got two bones in here and a, and a membrane in between. And I'm just sort of rubbing in there. And again, you could point and flex your toes or even circle for this one. How nice that feels. Oh, so it can be very tender in there. So I'm kind of rubbing in here between the tibia and the fibula. While well, I'm a circle. Oh, oh. <laughs> and making it up then toward the knee. And you're just going to polish the knee a little bit. You can polish. And you can do this while you just turn the lower leg in and out. There's a little bit of rotation available in the knee. So just getting a little wiggle there as you polish the knee and you can polish it higher up here as well. Do a little knuckle, knuckle roller coaster. Wow, little tap. And then test that foot out, test the leg out. You won't see me, I'm gonna disappear, but I can now just feel the difference in the two feet. This foot, how does it feel? Feels a little more wide and spread and comfortable. So then I can even do a little bounce on that side, jump a little balance feels fantastic. Compare that to the other side, yuck is how it feels. It feels stiff and disjointed. So it's important that you do that little test thing. It really is because it's not just, oh, you do this exercise, all done. It's that your brain is involved and can sense, hey, I like this. This feels like this. It's smoother, more comfortable stronger, better balance, better flexibility, it's affected this, wow, hmm, I'll remember that for the future. And then you can contrast, and you, if we get the brain involved, you'll keep that much more within your nervous system and your tissues, you'll be like, yeah, I've got it. So uh, very briefly, we'll do the other side because I want to feel good on the other side. It'll be faster, but you, the more you do it, the quicker you actually do it. You don't have to spend ages. So we're just going to take this time, twist the foot. 
You can do it separately, the forefoot, or you can hold the forefoot and twist the heel, or twist both. So I'm a little bit grabby and do both. <laughs> and we're really getting into the transverse tarsal joint, especially in the subtalar joint. So these joints that allow your foot to twist and move. Then we're going to do a little knuckle ride along the plantar fascia, thickest fascia in your body, a lot of fat in there, cushiony. Great, it's fantastic. And lots of uh, proprioception, so lots of connections from the foot to the rest of our body. Magnificent. Connection from that to the Achilles tendon. That's that great big roundy shaped tendon. You can feel it. Maybe point and flex as you do that. You can feel your calf moving. Oh, and we breathe as we do this because that makes life even better, doesn't it? Oh. <laughs> then I'm going to go then into the interosseous membrane. That's a membrane between your tibia and your fibula. Oh, God. <laughs> Leg orgasm. <laughs> And just rubbing into there can often be quite tender. It's great at absorbing the forces of walking and running. And I did have a little run today, so I haven't done that for a long time. So it feels a little bit chewy. <laughs> and then we want to have the, the ligaments, the capsule of the knee, really nice. So you can rub into the knee and again, maybe circle the foot or point and flex. You don't have to do any of that. Just rub to the knee if you like. Get that nice and warm and circulation going and put lots of proprioceptors here. And then you can do that into the upper part of the knee in the condyles here, like the little wheels of your uh, femur bone, thigh bone. Tap. And those legs feet should feel like they're ready for dancing, springing, all the good stuff. So check it out and then go and have, uh, find yourself a partner and go uh, dance a foxtrot. Trot, trot, <laughs> trotting off now. Bye. <laughs>